Hello everybody, welcome back to another video. Hopefully you guys are all having a fantastic day. Today's upload is just going to be a long range update outlook, one of those type of videos. But I decided to title it the way I did, which you'll probably see signs of winters are coming. Just because I've realized some things in the patterns, um, like bigger storms, temperatures cooling off, and even some snow showers appearing around the northern tier of the country. So signs of winter are definitely there so if you want to get updated throughout the winter months throughout the whole year with my channel updates on weather um, consider subscribing to my channel consider liking consider liking the video if um, if you're hesitating to subscribe and you're a new subscriber or you haven't subscribed yet and you're a new viewer um, check out my channel go feel free roam around and then you could decide whether it suits your needs. If you're an old returning member and for some reason haven't subscribed, subscribe. You know, it really helps out. It's a, It doesn't cost you any money and it's a win-win. Sorry I keep repeating this, but I get a lot of new viewers, a lot of new viewers every day. So it's, I feel like it's important to stress that. So today, um, like I mentioned already, we'll be looking at mainly the temperatures and the precip outlook in terms of the United States. We'll save maybe the other more pattern-based EMCO, El Nino, Modokai, La Nina update maybe for another day. So as of now, what we're looking at is it's GFS 6-hour average. Sorry, GFS a 6-hour averaged precip rate millimeters per hour. And <clears throat> right now what we have is Hurricane Florence. I think it has weakened a lot uh, more than expected, but still nevertheless going to cause a lot of damage out in the Carolinas. And you can see that that spins around for quite a while before moving off and producing quite a bit of rain across the you know, eastern part of the United States. So that is the first thing we look at. We see um, if we click on a total accumulated precip, there will be a lot of yellows showing up around this around this area sorry about that and um you can see that that that's definitely going to lead to some flooding flash flooding some devastation will be obviously not some a lot of devastation will be occurring some catastrophic disaster is potentially um forming on our hands but i decided not to really update you guys on this video because i feel like there are plenty of videos out there that are um there to update you on these you know this hurricane and there's not really many videos to just update you on the pattern outside of the rest of the United States or including the rest of the United States so that's what I'm here for so what you notice you can see already the blue color sorry blue colors showing up in British Columbia Alberta Canada Saskatchewan <clears throat> and these colors will become more and more pre prevalent across much of Canada and in dense sometimes even the mountains and then soon enough you'll be seeing across the northern parts of the United States. So we pass this through you could see very like I mentioned a couple days ago, very dry weather in one of my videos. Very dry weather across the central part of the country because of this high pressure that's just sitting right here. The pattern is starting to break down. In a couple of days we will see more some some more rain across these country uh, areas because this high pressure moves off to the east and that allows the precip you can see to dive in but a lot of sorry a lot of rain is expected for the northern parts of the, um, of this country like Minnesota, North Dakota, South Dakota, Wisconsin and um, you can see that there's going to be some fairly large storms that are going to be developing right, right here right here there's a fairly large storm that is developing or could develop at around I think this is yeah this is exactly a week from tomorrow or today tomorrow as I'm recording this video I am pre-recording this and um, th that's already a big storm that's more of a fall characteristic storm for um, even for September this is a fairly well organized system you can see some snow on the back side of it so we're gonna start seeing these um, words you know fly in more and more often into these my sentences words like snow snowstorm snow flurries snow shower and colors like blue will be showing up more on the map and then we have this massive system that comes originates from Colorado mainly that's where it starts developing it's called the Colorado low and this if you win if you live say in North Western Iowa, Jaquan. I know you're watching this video. If you're wondering, 
Will I see any um, big storms, big wind makers across my area in northwest Iowa? We could be seeing one sometime around mid next um, mid next weekend basically we could be seeing some i think this is next weekend we're basically saturday the 22nd we could be seeing a big storm coming out with fairly large wind field and this will be more of a rainmaker obviously not a snowmaker but um it will definitely have the wind on its side and that could produce and i mean you can see once it goes out here it just produces a lot of snow out further up north so that is a cool thing i mean snow is i always like seeing snow especially at the beginning it's just such a new thing because the summer has been filled with green colors and then the blue on the map these i mean i'm telling you guys couple a uh, couple days ago these blues or maybe not days but a couple weeks ago these blues on these maps wasn't even really that um commonly spotted there was like every time you saw a blue say in the mountains you were like oh wow i remember a couple videos back or maybe a couple several videos back I, I was like pointing out snow possible in alberta canada and i was really excited about that well now we have a fairly um you can see i mean it's fairly far to the south you could see potentially by lake superior some snow showers flying in so that is definitely something we need to keep an eye on for and then um the pattern seems to quiet down for the late September, but we'll need to see how that plays out because that is definitely still yet to change. If we go to two meter temp anomalies, now to discuss about the temperatures aspect or the temperature aspect of the forecast. Um, basically, for the next week, I would say a lot of the portion of the United States will be above average temperatures. I mean, you could see a lot of the cold air or below average temperatures will be locked up into the parts of. Um, northern, southern Canada, and maybe parts of the northwest. However, I would say 85 to 90 percent of, maybe not 90, but 80 to 85 percent of the country will be above average in temperatures marked by the red colors. And this is on Tuesday, September 18th. And this extends. You can see a couple of cool shots of air, and but the real breakdown of this warm regime happens around this time where. <clears throat> This big storm that I was talking about passes through and brings a big cold shot of air behind it. And then that could bring in quite a bit of cool air, but that doesn't seem to stick around for much. So, <clears throat> um, what I meant is ne not necessarily that winter's coming by the um, by the 2 meter temp anomalies, you know, where below and or above average temperatures are, because that is always at any time of the year, there's going to be above average temperatures in certain places, and there's going to be below average temperatures in certain places. What I really wanted to show you was a 2 meter temperature shaded, which just gives you the actual temperature reading in Fahrenheit that um, is that, that you can actually feel and not just by blue or red color. So, you can see <clears throat> over this weekend, very warm colors, sorry, very warm temperatures and fairly warm colors. But then you can see right there, 80s, 90s, it quickly, there's like this cold front that could be passing through. And you can see some areas out in the um, north northern plains, I would even say northern woods, could be get, not, not getting out of the 40s. I mean, look, 49, 52, 51. So this just goes to show you that the average temperature for much of the country is already dropping. I know that my location, the average temperature is around... 78 already and that is much cooler from the july peak of the year at around 87 so it has definitely been cooling down and you may be wondering what are these blue colors yes that is the frost area or anywhere that is or anywhere it is below zero or below zero in terms of celsius or below 32 degrees in terms of fahrenheit and you can see these things, I mean, they're pushing. These cold shots are pushing the frost all the way down to parts of Minnesota. And, <clears throat> <clears throat> sorry, already parts of North Dakota have already their first frost frost advisories. Soon we'll see freeze warnings all over the country. And, I mean, you can see this, that towards the end of this period, I mean, look, lots and lots of the real estate of country is covered in 40s during the night and ton of 50s couple of 60s and down towards florida 70s and 80s but these um this is very you know it's we're really getting into a cooler pattern right now in terms of um the actual temperatures whether above or excluding above or below average we're, we're just in general cooling off and we could be seeing much cooler temperatures. You can see daytime high 60s are now the warm, um, warm times, and 
at this point, this is already sep late September, so yes, it is more it is expected to be already you know cool and more winter like. But it just always don't don't you feel like it, you guys, that it always comes on out of a sudden, all of an out of nowhere just comes on. All of a sudden, the cool temperatures, you don't even realize when the change happens. Um, spring is more um, is more different because you're awaiting these warm temperatures and they, they t seem forever to take, um, take hold. But these cold temperatures, you don't want them or most people don't want them. And that's, and then that's with most things. If you don't want them, they will come to you. So um, that is basically going to be the theme of this pet, uh, the, this weather, next couple of months of weather. You probably won't want the things coming towards you. Winter, snow, rain, cold, cooler weather, shorter days. But unfortunately, that's what's going to get to you. Um, now, obviously, not obviously, but at this point, it has come to the point of the year where I could be showing the total snowfall amounts and there will be some showing on the maps. Let's go to regions and zoom out a little bit. Let's just go over North America. And you can see that a lot of, I mean, most most of Canada is already seeing some snow. And then James Bay, like, uh, I think this is Hudson, Hudson Bay, um, already having some ice cover on it. So... <clears throat> This snow is going to start pushing down further and further south into the U.S. In fact, it, it already is in parts of Yellowstone, the mountains, Grand Tetons, anywhere along that those mountain ranges, we could be seeing some high elevation snow showers and possibly even some accumulations. So that is basically it for today's video, guys. Just wanted to do a quick one for you. Um, hopefully you all enjoyed. Consider subscribing to my channel, consider liking the video, and I'll catch you all guys in the next episode.